What's going on guys, Jess here, back at it again with another reaction. So today I'll be reacting to B2B's The Song, Beep Beep, and their new song called, uh, what's it called? It's called Wind and Wish. So I have react to, I have seen the song, but I had not had a chance to react to it because I was uh, doing a lot of stuff. I was in school, I was doing a lot of schoolwork, so I didn't really have time to check it out like I wanted to, but I did watch the MV a million times over and over, but I thought I'd react to it to you guys so we both can enjoy it. Beep Beep is one of my favorite B2B songs, hilariously, and I don't think I really give it as much love as I do as some of my more favorite, more of my favorite ballad songs in B2B, so that'd be nice. And then obviously the newest song, Wish and, Wish and something, Wish and, Wish and, no, Wind and Wish, yeah, Wind and Wish, which I have not seen. I chose to not watch it, you know, for, for you guys so that was tough but okay here we go so today i'm rocking to this song all right here we go three two one go Oh my god, I just, I love this song so much, man. I just love that part. Yes, that part sounds so good. And then I love Sungjae's vocals in this one, specifically. It just, it has a nice, like, uh, velvety type, but it's not like really velvety. It's more like Velcro. It's like, it kind of is like, it's kind of low, but not really though, but it's not high either. It's like right in between, and it sounds amazing. Um, but yeah, I love the way his voice comes in. It sounds awesome. And like, and then him and Min Hyuk going back and forth like that, and just singing uh, what called older lyrics from all the other songs, which was so nice. Um, but that was that's oh my god, I love that part so much. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this, uh, this closer, obviously, I'm so sad and ill and it's gone. And like, it's one of the most devastating things ever. Top 10 K-pop rappers, in my opinion, without a doubt. 
but I really love the fact that they're giving Peniel like more like parts in the song because he has such an interesting vibe about him. Where it's like he has a very bright, like unbelievably bright, like whoa, it's, this is a bright ass voice. <laughs> but like sometimes like he, his 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 parts kind of kill every now and then. Like when he misses, it, it's like oh my god, he's missing so badly. But when he kills, he's kind of on point the entire time. And I feel like for this song, he hits it out of the park. Um, I enjoyed his entire parts for this entire song. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Let's enjoy the songs. B2B man, always always killer songs no matter what. This is definitely in my like in my top top ten ballads of B2B. This is like this got right up there immediately when I heard it. I was like, oh, this is so good. It's like a perfect wintery cold. Oh, it's like I'm already freezing right now. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah. So that's B2B. This is a song. Um, yeah, everything about the song is amazing. Ten out of ten. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hyun Sig, Chung Seb, killer vocals, uh, and Kwang, love his falsetto in this song. It's it's one of my favorite falsettos of all of his so vocals. It's just like, oh my god, it sounds so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, Sunday for me and Pinio and Minhyuk were the killing parts in this. And I just, ooh, my ears. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? On to the next song. Okay, okay. Next shit. Honestly, I don't know why, but I really love this song. Like, it's, it's just a nice vibe. Oh, girl.
All right, I don't know why, but I really love this song. I love the part. This is probably like one of my first B2B songs I saw. And I was like, wait, who sang this? Because like when I first saw Changs, I was like, he's, he definitely, he's definitely not the high note singer. You know what I mean? He didn't look like the, like one of those like really high felt set of dudes. Like, whoa, he hit those notes like awesomely. And I was like, I watched their live performances. He hit them again. I was like, whoa, he has a great, great, like great ass falsetto, man. It was awesome, man. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed this song a lot. I loved the sudden switch to like that soft ballad. That was really good. And then like all <laughs> they had all those girls in there, ten out of ten right there. That was awesome. But yeah, this whole song is a great ass vibe. I really loved it a lot. And like it's such a fun song, you know. So like there's like there's no real like bad parts to it, honestly. What do you guys think? Do you guys enjoy this as much as I did? Let me know. All right, on to their newest song, which is "Wind and Wish," which I have not seen yet. See, that's what I mean, man. Like, we're talking about B2B, Peniel, and, and, like, not always having parts. Like, right there. Like, right there. Like, when I think back to movie, and, like, uh, and it's, like, uh, you know that part with Min Hyuk and Ilhun, they both have that killer parts. And I'll be your man. That, that part, I wish Peniel had gotten a part like that, but he didn't. And I felt so bad. Like, damn, he didn't get that part. You know what I mean? But, you know, this, like, this, see, that he gets to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's still, like, there's still some sort of like knowingness that he has to be included now, you know what I mean? I don't know, what do you guys think? Yeah. 